Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Shantae from Simply Shantae's Plans. Today's video is all about Moxie Life and their 2022 planner launch. I am so beyond excited to be a part of the Moxie Life review crew this year because I have been using Moxie Life since August of 2020 and it has truly elevated and changed my life in a lot of different ways. Speaking of launch, there's a couple dates that I want you to keep in mind. November 15th, if you are a member of Club Moxie, you will have access to these new items. If you're not a member of Club Moxie, but you are on the email VIP list, you'll have access to the new launch items on November 16th. If neither of those things apply to you, you will have access to the new launch items on November 17th. If you really want to get the items on November 16th, I have a link in my description box below for you to sign up for the Moxie Life email VIP list. Signing up for that list will give you access a day early. Now there are so many cool things launching this year with their product release and I get to share two of those things with you. I am beyond stoked to share these things with you because I will be incorporating them in my 2022 planner lineup this year and I love them. I think they're high quality. I am going to flip the camera around now so I can show you what I'm talking about. The first thing I want to show is actually the free gift with purchase. There are five different Moxie Life weatherproof stickers and I have two of those designs here. The first one says Moxie and it gives the definition of Moxie and then the second one it says Worthy and it's a beautiful Moxie Life rainbow with the small gratitude heart at the bottom. You're going to get one of the five designs in your box but the stickers are pretty small so make sure that you check your box before you toss it out to grab your sticker. I love these. They're super cute and I'm so glad that this cute little touch was added to the launch season this year. I'm actually going to try to collect all five and I'm excited to see what the other designs look like. I also have this A5 daily sticky notepad, but I'm going to set that aside for now because I'm really excited to dive into this gorgeous planner that I have right in front of me. This is the six month undated planner. It comes in both horizontal and vertical. I am a vertical girl through and through, so I'm going to be showing that one today. But if you want to see the vertical layout or try it out, I highly encourage you to download the free printable from Moxie Life so you can really play around with it and see which layout is going to best suit your needs. Before I jump right into the contents of the book, I want to just go over some quick specs and logistics so we know everything that we're dealing with here. Like I said, this is a six month book. It's undated, so you will need two of these if you are trying to plan in a Moxie Life for the entire year. It is a seven by nine size, which is pretty standard here in the planner community. It has a standard coil. This coil is really sturdy. I did go ahead and try to bend it and I banged it up against a couple walls because I'm very hard on my planners and I wanted to see how sturdy it was and it looks like this thing is going to hold up. I also compared the coil with another coil on another planner company that I use frequently and they are very comparable. This cover here is the blush version. It's also going to come in one other color option if blush is not for you. It is a vegan leather cover and it's pretty sturdy as well when you knock on it. It is permanent, so what I mean by that is it doesn't come off. If you wanted this cover to come off, you'd have to uncoil this and then it would come off. So I know with the old flagship planners, it's a little bit easier to change the covers, but with these ones, they're a little bit more permanent. Speaking of covers, since it is a 7x9 coil I, and I have a ton of interchangeable covers from another planner company, I went ahead and tried to put one on this coil and what I found was that it was a little too short by basically one little ring here. It creates a little bump and then the planner doesn't lay flat. So these ones don't fit quite perfectly um, but if you if the bump doesn't bother you then you'll be able to use it the paper they're using in this planner is 120 gsm in the color bright white it's also recycled paper it is very similar if not the same to paper they have used in the past so if you are familiar with moxie life the same quality paper is going to be here if you're unfamiliar or new to the moxie life community this paper is pretty smooth it also is pretty good with ghost 
posting in bleed through I use the zig dot markers I also use smile liners I use various different types of pens and I have never really had an issue with ghosting or bleed through or anything like that so good quality paper included in the book the last thing I want to share real quick before we dive into the rest of the book is that this is going to run you about $64. Now it is only six months, so you're going to need to get two of those for the year. But if purchasing two at this time is not in your budget, have no fear. Sierra and the team over at Moxie Life did share that they will be restocking the undated planners throughout the year. So there will be another opportunity for you to purchase a second one. I am going to walk you through the contents of this book. It is very similar to what you're going to find in the 12 month flagship planner, but there are some differences that I do want to point out. I also have my current Moxie Life planner, my 2021 planner here, so I can show you some of the upgrades they've made in the next year. When you first open the planner, you're going to see the title page. This tells you what type of planner you have and gives you some space to make it your own. Personalize it with your name, your phone, and your email. Immediately after that, we come to a letter from Sierra, who is the founder of Moxie Life. I love this letter because it kind of tells you the what and the why behind Moxie and really sets you up to start diving into the system. There is a tab on this page that says goal setting, which flips us into one of my favorite aspects of this planner. This section goes through all of the different features of the Moxie Life program. It also gives you a roadmap of where you're gonna go during your pre-work and your goal setting process. It also has the compass assessment, which is one of the key features of the Moxie Life system to help you evaluate your life and set goals in different areas. Then you have this intentions page. It's guided and gives you some prompting questions and you have an opportunity to define your word of the year. The original Moxie Life system was a 12 month dated book. So this page was really intended to be used at the start of the year to help ground you and get set for your goals for the year to come. However, because this is a six month book, there actually is a lot of flexibility to use this page as a reset or a refocus halfway through the year when you open up a new book. I'm really excited about that feature of this page because I personally do need that check-in throughout the year because my goals do evolve and change as I meet them or as my needs change. So I really like that this is blank and I'll be able to use it in both of the six month books that I have. After the intentions page, it really gives you some good, good information about how to goal set, what to goal set, the different types of goals and things like that. These pages are invaluable to me because before using the Moxie Life system, I had no idea how to set goals. I basically, I knew what a SMART goal was from school, but I did not have the skills or the tools that I needed to be able to set an annual goal and then break that into monthly goals and then break that into weekly actions. And these pages really teach you how to do that. These pages along with the coaching tips throughout the book and also the Moxie Life community are really, really, really key to making the system work for you. So I encourage you to read through these pages, especially if you haven't used the Moxie Life system before. Finally, you have some space to start brainstorming what you want your goals to be. The Moxie Life system utilizes eight different goal areas and on this page on the left, they give you some ideas of types of things that you might want to make a goal around. On the right side is a clean dot grid page where you can really do your brainstorming. I love that it's open. There's a little quote at the top for you to get motivated, but the space is yours to do what you want with, and I think that is beautiful. You can really, really make this your own. And then following that page, you actually get to write out your goals. There is a section for each different goal area. So there's really going to be four pages of annual goals. But in each little goal section, there is a focus and then a question prompt at the bottom asking you how will your life improve by reaching these goals. For me, that question is key. A lot of times I want things, but when I don't have a purpose or it's not clearly defined for me, I'm not committed and I will fall off. Having these little reinforcers in the book is super, super helpful for me and I appreciate that aspect of the Moxie Life system. 
Finally, after your goals, you have a vision board. This is two pages fairly blank. There's not dot grid on these pages for you to do as you wish. There is a little bit of a prompt at the top if you're like me and need a prompt. Blank pages kind of freak me out sometimes, but it is there. It's easy to cover up with stickers or quotes or washi tape or anything like that. But again, two pages to personalize this book, make it your own, make a vision board, cut stuff out, make it messy, whatever. I love that this is here and it is included in the beginning of the book so you can flip back to it as often or as little as you need. That brings us to the end of the goal setting section and we close it out with some quick tips. Again, I love that this is here because I can stick a bookmark here and flip back to it when I'm struggling with my goals, when I'm feeling uncommitted, when I don't want to do it. <laughs> this it will come back and give me some inspiration. After the goal setting section, we kind of move into the six months. There are tabs for each month. However, since this is an undated book, the tabs are blank. What Moxie Life has done is included this sheet. It's really hard to see in my camera because they're translucent stickers with white writing, but they have a sticker for each month of the year so you can label your tab like I did here. I put January on the label. I can put it on this side as well because there's two stickers for each month. This will come in the back of the planner in the back pocket which I'll show you in a little while so when you get this book make sure you check out that pocket so you can label your tabs. On the tab page we just have a clean page. You could decorate this. You could leave it blank. It does give you a little quote at the bottom. And immediately after that is the full monthly view. Now this is going to come undated and it's going to come super clean and neutral. What I've done on this page is I've used some date dots that I had around the house from another planner company, as well as a sticker that has the month from another planner company. And I started decorating this because I really couldn't wait. But this is what it'll actually look like. This is the second month in this book and it is super, super, super neutral. Everything is grayscaled. There is no color on this page, which is nice if you like things to be super clean. And it's nice if you like to add your own personal touches because it's a blank canvas. You can do whatever you want with this. The little dots in the corners of these are intended for the dates. I use some large date dots, but Moxie Life is also coming out with a monthly kit system that you can add stickers in. So this is actually from last year. I used this when I was using the companion notebooks for Moxie Life, but it's gonna be very similar to this year. It'll come in a pack. You'll have all 12 months. I think it's $8, I'll double check that for you. But you will be able to just add these to the monthly pages if you want, or you know, write it in, that works too. So the monthly spread is the first thing after the monthly tab. After the monthly spread, you get to go in and work on your monthly goals. Again, there is a section for each goal area and you get to rewrite your focus here. In the past, I have used the focus area as an affirmation for that goal area. In the past, I've also used it as a chance to refocus or hone in on a certain aspect of that goal area. You kind of get to choose what you want to do. Both work well, but there is a space for you to do that here. Then, after your monthly goals, we get right into our first week section. So each of the monthly sections is going to have five weekly pages, and not all months have five weeks, but you will have enough room if a month does have five weeks. The weekly section looks like this. You're going to have a dot grid page here with a coaching tip on the bottom. This dot grid page can be used for reflecting, it can be used for brain dumping, it could be used for making lists, it could be used for journaling, your freedom to do what you want here. Then here on the other side is your weekly actions, which is another key feature of the Moxie Life system. This gives you an opportunity to break down your monthly goals into steps that you can complete in that week. So you're moving towards making progress on your goal. The eight different goal areas are listed on this page and they are labeled for you so you don't actually have to worry about labeling those. 
After the weekly actions page, you have your weekly layout. This is a Monday through Sunday calendar. Monday through Thursday is on one side and Friday through Sunday is on the other. And then you have your sidebar on the far right. Now I know this is different than other planner companies, so you may need a little bit of adjusting if this is your first time using Moxie Life, but I love that the entire weekend is on one side in this planner versus having my Sunday over here. Additionally, on the weekly spreads, you are going to have the habit trackers. There are seven habit trackers here for you to fill out if you wish. Then there's also this line section here for notes, lists, pictures, quotes, anything like that. The bottom square is not gray. They changed that last year. This used to be a really shaded area and now it's white but it does have a little gratitude heart here so I've seen this bottom square used for gratitude I've seen it used for meal planning I've seen it used for you know a, a word of the day or a quote of the day anything like that what I love about this weekly section this vertical layout is that it is super neutral again hardly any color on here really only two spots where the habit tracker is and where the gratitude hearts are love that it's neutral I also love that it's super open I don't have anything tying me to this layout I could change it every week if I wanted to how I use it I mean it's just perfect for me because my life does change from week to week and month to month as I'm a teacher and sometimes my life is super busy in the school year and sometimes I'm on summer break so I love that it also doesn't have times on it so I'm not restricted in that way either if you want the time though, moxie life is coming out with a washi tape with this launch that has the time so you could put it in here if you wanted to. Again, a lot of flexibility to use this system as you wish. That's the end of one monthly section. I mentioned it's going to repeat itself four times, so there is a total of five weeks per monthly section, and I'm just flipping through so you can kind of see that. At the end of that monthly section, you get a monthly reflections page. So here, there are some prompted questions for you to consider when you're thinking about your month as a whole. The questions here really help you evaluate the progress you're making towards your goals. It makes you think about what's working in your life, what's not working, asks you to reflect on what you've learned or what adjustments you should make. It also encourages you to seek gratitude, what you're grateful for, and then also encourages you to think ahead about the next month. You also, at the end, get to rate your overall satisfaction for the month, which I actually was very curious about when I first started using Moxie Life. I thought that was a weird question, like how satisfied am I? I'm satisfied. But once I really dove into the system, it was really cool to me to see how this changed as things in my life changed. That is the end of the monthly section then that whole monthly section everything I just showed you is going to repeat itself several times to give you a total of six months which I'm going to flip to the end of that then after all six months we have two more tabs here this first tab is assessments so I mentioned the compass assessment needs to be taken quarterly and that is what we have here. In previous years, the quarterly compass assessment has been embedded into the monthly sections and this year, at least in this book, it has moved to the back. Honestly, I really like that. I really, really like that because in this book, I had to flip around a lot to go back to previous quarterly assessments and look at my scores, look at my reflections and things like that. But in this book, I don't. It's all right here. The only one I would need to flip to is the beginning month compass assessment in the goal setting tab. But that's really easy to find because it's tabbed. <laughs> So I love this upgrade. I love this feature that the assessments are in the back. Since this is a six month book, there's only going to be two quarterly assessments because there's only going to be two quarters worth of time in this book. There's a spot at the top for you to write the dates of this quarterly assessment so that way you can keep it clear and remember. 
The assessment is very similar to the one on the front. You get to rate yourself on the goal areas and then there's some spots for reflections again. Also, I forgot that I put this bookmark here, but this is a coil bookmark from another planner company that I use and it fits perfectly. So if you have any accessories like that, those will definitely work. After the quarterly assessments, we get something called extras. This first page here is future plans. There's six boxes, so you could make a month per each box. This is super helpful because, again, with this being a six-month planner, you're not going to be able to forward plan past six months. So these boxes give you dedicated space to do that. You will be able to jot down any appointments, upcoming events, things like that for these months, and then when you switch over to the next book, you can look at the sheet and then fill it in once you have it. I love that this is included. It's essential for me in a six month book. If these pages were not here, it would probably be a deal breaker for me, not gonna lie. The rest of the book is lined notes pages that you get to do whatever you want with. This is beautiful. There are so many notes pages here, so, so many. I 21 lined notes pages in the back of this book for you to use. You don't even need a notebook. You know, depending on how many notes you take, 21 pages is a lot of notes pages. So I'm excited to dive into these and kind of create them and make them my own. I'm sure tons and tons of other Moxie Life users will be sharing inspiration for these pages too. So stay tuned for that. After the notes pages, we do have this pocket here. This is a two pocket folder coiled right into the book. It has some Moxie Life features here and then after that we have a coiled in sticker sheet. The sticker sheet has the Moxie Life rainbow, some functional stickers with the icons and everything like that coiled in. This is a printout that I always use. I don't know why it's in here right now but it's the uh, ideal week printout and I probably was going to put it in the second back pocket that comes in the planner to keep it safe. So there's also a pocket on the back page. Finally, if I were to close the book, you would just see the band that keeps your book all together. That's pretty much the contents of this book. I am super obsessed with this coil. I love that it's a little bit more of a portable option for me, and I am completely thrilled that this book is super neutral. There are a couple other things that I really, really like about this book that have been upgraded from years past, and I wanna show you those now. The first thing is actually on the pages themselves, and I'm just gonna flip to a random page and show you these side by side. This is the new version. You can see that there is no border here. It is very clean. There is no design. The old planner has this bordered striped design on the side. This design is on almost every page in the old book and it is super cute, but I really prefer the clean look after seeing it here. The reason I also like that is because it is clean, it's simplified, but also it's a little bit more gender neutral, which I know was a goal of the Moxie Life team. So that feature throughout the book is something that I really like. Another thing that I really, really appreciate in this book compared to years past is on the monthly goals. It's also on the weekly actions, which I'm actually going to show you. Here, it's a random week, is that the A, the banner goes all the way across the section. Over here, it was just the icon. And B, that it's labeled. Last year's planner did not have each goal section labeled, so I had to go in and label it every week. Now, that doesn't seem like a big deal, and here you can see I bought some stickers to do that later on in the year, but it did take time and it did bother me, so I'm happy that it's labeled now. The other thing that I really appreciate that is a little bit hard to see is that the icons for each of the goal areas are a little bit updated. They're similar to what they were before. They're not flaggish anymore. They're just circles. And I like that as well. Again, it looks cleaner in my opinion, simplified. I just prefer that look. Over here on this side, on the reflection side, you aren't going to have this border that was in the old planner that you do in the new version. The coaching tips are still here. 
they're still here but they're placed a little bit more down on the page I think and also they're not boxed off I really really like this I feel like it adds flexibility and opportunity to personalize this page since there is not the design and since there is not any border one other difference that i wanted to point out because this is an undated book you aren't going to have the weeks labeled like you did in previous planners so in this 2021 book each week is labeled week three week four but since this is an undated book and there's absolutely no way to know when you're using it they don't label the weeks if that's important to you you can add that in yourself if one last thing I wanted to point out in this book is the monthly title pages. In alignment with the rest of this book, these monthly pages are super streamlined. The old monthly sections did have these beautiful colored quotes on each one, which personally I like both. <laughs> I do like this version a little bit more, the newer version, but these are also really cute. So that is just something I wanted to point out as a difference that you can expect in last year's version versus this year's version. I will say that I don't have the flagship planner that is being released this year, so these may still be in there. I would definitely check out other affiliate pages. All right, that's pretty much it for this planner. I am very excited to add this to my planner lineup and to continue my journey with my Moxie Life goal setting, but there's actually something else that I'm super, super excited to add into my goal setting system and that is the moxie life a5 daily sticky notepad this sticky notepad is going to be ten dollars there are 60 sheets on here and they are single-sided because they're actually a giant sticky note so you can see i actually went ahead and used this one one day last week and um you can just rip it off like that and stick it right to your planner. You could go and stick it on a week in your planner if I wanted to do that. Oops, let me go to a weekly page. You could stick it here so that way you could see it. But I love, love, love this daily layout. I do wanna give you a little bit closer look at the daily layout because it is the same daily layout that you will find in the coiled daily quarterly planners. Here you have a list section with some check marks. There is a focus, three, top three, maybe another section here and this bottom section. I've pretty much decided how I'm going to use this daily layout, so I want to refrain from calling it certain sections. However, it is unlabeled, so you could use this in any way you wanted to, which is phenomenal. This is one of the only daily layouts that has minimal shading that has so much customization available however you want to make these sections and is super 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 functional so i just love this daily layout and i'm so excited that it's coming on the sticky notepad i think it's gonna pair super nicely with my weekly planner here because on the super busy days i can add the sticky note wherever i need to and i don't have to worry about wasting pages because it's undated i can use it as i need it which is great so again this is the a5 size it has 60 sheets it's ten dollars and I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> Alright, that is pretty much it for this video. I am super excited about both of the products that you see here as well as all the other ones that are coming out next week. If you have any questions about the items that I've reviewed, price lists, other items that are coming out, please do not hesitate to ask. I can be found here on YouTube or over on Instagram at simplyshantes underscore plans and my DMs are always open for questions. Thank you so much for tuning into my video today and I hope to chat with you all soon. Thank you so much again and I will catch you in the next one.